Oh, I love it. The TV's still working though. Can we still can we flip on a uh, SpongeBob or something? <laughs>Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to some more BeamNG and today we're gonna take a look at the car jump arena which I mean it could it could use a better name I could say that but honestly this map is amazing It's basically like that ski jump map. I made a while back only a, a, a lot better It actually has like people watching well, there's no people in BeamNG But th there would be people in this stadium and actually like looks like a proper Jumping map only this is with cars not with skis because those aren't in BeamNG yet but anyway, it's a really nice looking map, so yeah, we're gonna go up to the top and just jump some fucking cars off this thing. <laughs> Sound good? <laughs> Alright, so we have a warning there. It says, warning, it is not recommended to jump off at more than 200 kilometers an hour. So I think we're gonna actually do the opposite and take the fastest car in the game down this ramp. And we're probably gonna get to the end of the jump in the first, <laughs> in the first jump. So we're cheating. Yeah, basically. So, naturally, we have the 10,000 horsepower wheelie truck. <laughs> we're gonna, oh, this is gonna be great. Anyway, we're gonna try to not break it. Oh, careful now. Okay, there's the starting line with a nice little particle effects. And let's just fucking gun it. This is definitely not what you're supposed to do. <laughs> but this is gonna be a flaming truck. Oh, across the sky! Yeah! And we already won. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna land in the sand pit. Yep. Okay, we won and there's a nice <laughs> We didn't land in it, but there's a nice water pool in case your car combusts like mine did But yeah, uh, we're gonna need a fire team because we did not land in said pool. Okay All right, so we'll tone it down a little bit, but not much. We're still in a drag car But hopefully this thing won't go completely past the um the actual track So hopefully I don't think this thing yeah, it goes faster than 200, but not, but I mean, not by a ton. It's probably going 240 kilometers an hour. Oh yes, beautiful. We're gonna get what is that? 400 at 470 kilometers. That's pr pretty good, damn good. Not kilometers. What the hell am I saying? But we are on fire. But we did land in the pool, so that's good. Yes, this is a very nicely detailed pool. I don't think I've actually. Is this an actual texture from the game? I'm not sure. If it isn't, nice job, dude. All right, I want to line up a really cinematic looking shot for this. So we're actually going to pause it right when we take off here and we're going to go somewhere else. So uh, let's go down to the bottom, I guess. Do 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 do. Hey, ad people, this could be your ad here. This map is probably going to be in the thousands of downloads by the time you're seeing this video. So yeah, you should definitely hit up this guy if you want any ads. I might do it so we can get that little brain on here. Maybe I should. Hey, creator, if you're seeing this video, put my brain on here. I'll uh, I'll I'll suck your dick. All right, so we got our nice cinematic shot lined up. Let's see this thing fly. There it is. Oh, it just popped into existence right there. Holy shit. Oh, man. Look at that. Is it going to land in the pool also? Yes. No. Is it going to make it? Can't tell. Uh, Yeah, it kind of did. Is it still on fire though? Nope. There, it got extinguished. I love that feature. Yes. Yay for realism. So our car's actually in pretty intact right now. We didn't actually explode into a million pieces. So I know there's a bunch of people that always ask me to do stuff in first person. So I, I feel like this would probably be a pretty good scenario to go first person because we'll get the um the uh, the uh, illusion of flight basically. <laughs> Whoa, careful, careful. Okay, let's do this. Gun it. Oh shit. Okay, this is really fast. <laughs> oh my good god. Here we go, everybody. Oh yes. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh my god, I cannot wait for a VR support in this game. It's gonna be amazing! <laughs> Except for the uh, the landing and dying and the flipping, that's probably gonna make me vomit. But if it does, I will definitely put it in a video. You guys can trust me on that one. Alright, we're still doing fast cars right now, but this one's a little bit more realistic. This is actually just a, a regular car, so hopefully we can see how far we can actually get with this thing. It's still pretty- I mean, this thing can still push 180 easily, so... Oh man, I like that little spooter. Don't you like that? That's my steam name by the way spooter man I don't know why I made it when I was like a freshman in high school Yeah, oh, we're gonna hit 400. Oh Bait let's get some slow motion first off and Oh, we might hit like 398 398 I'm guessing oh look at that. It's so destructive. I love it. You might you guys might think I might get this shit might get old after a while, but it really doesn't I just love every crash is different So 
I don't know, it just never gets old for some reason. <laughs> We're skipping across the... Yeah, we landed in the pool. I'm guessing, like, is the pool supposed to be for people to swim in, or is it, like, just a, another, f like, I don't know, like a safety thing? Because, like, every time I've tried, I've gone through the uh, sand. But I guess if you, like, land on all four wheels, you might be able to stop. But, yeah, every t <laughs> I feel like I'm going to end up in this pool quite a bit in this video. <laughs> All right, it might take a while to get to the actual ramp, but we're gonna do it with the RC car because why the hell not? This thing's just gonna fly, and by that I mean glide and do all sorts of weird flips because the aerodynamic <laughs> the aerodynamics on this thing is really weird. I don't even know if we'll actually make it to any of the markers, even the hundred hundred meter marker, whatever it is, because this thing is just, it's like top speed is like sixty, pushing it going downhill is like sixty. So anyway, we'll try it anyway. Here we go. Yeah, we made it to. F <laughs> like 40, I think. But, oh shit, yeah, and that now starts the skipping. Oh wait, no, it landed it. Let's keep going. Ooh, turn around, turn around. Oh, come on. We got this. <laughs> it's a lost cause. What am I doing? All right, next up is the Stig Edition Pigeon, one of my favorite car mods for this game of all time. And I, I from the last video, I guess it's harder to break this uh, fucking game with this pigeon because usually it breaks it at the littlest uh, crash, but not so much anymore, so hopefully it won't actually break the game from this hard landing. We might actually land this. Holy shit! Oh, beautiful. We, all <laughs> we lost the side view mirrors, but that's about it. Can we slow down? No, we cannot. Oh, fuck. <laughs> and now we're drowning the Stig because he doesn't have the capacity to get out of this car, I guess. But he's still ha hanging on to the wheel, so I'm guessing he's still alive, right? You know what would be like a really awesome feature for this game, and somebody should make a mod if it's possible. I, I feel like I'm always telling people to make mods, but it's true. Like if they had like a little gauge that can like register all the like g-forces and hits that the car's taking, it has like a little a little thing that says whether the driver would be dead if there was somebody in the car. That would be like a really awesome feature. If, is anybody does anybody like agree with me on that? Wouldn't that not be like a really fucking awesome thing to add to this game? It'd be really morbid and like really f kind of fucked up, but it'd be really awesome at the same time. Like on that one, I feel like he might be dead or like critically injured. It could it could like be like have like a hall of meat system for B and G. That would be fucking awesome. All right, let's go a little bit bigger. We got the roamer here, but there's something different about this uh, particular roamer. This is actually is part of that 10,000 horsepower mod. So if I hit the accelerator, yeah. <laughs> oh, we fucked up. Oh no. Yeah, we, we're not even gonna get to the ramp. <laughs> All right, let's actually do that the right way. No, no wheelies, no! God, it's so hard to not do a wheelie. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, come on now. Slow down, slow down. Oh, you bastard. All right, just barely tap it. Barely, barely, barely. Don't blow your load, come on. Okay, and now punch it. Oh, we can still do a wheelie going downhill. Is that? Is that, that, that doesn't seem right to me. Will physics back me up on that? Whoa, shit, we're flying anyway. In straight, <laughs> straight into the fucking ground. <laughs> oh no, completely pancaked. You would think if you had this much power in this car, you might want to invest in like a roll cage or something. <laughs> oh man, but if this game had that like death, death feature, it would definitely say dead 10 times over on that one and run fire. So yeah, dead. All right, we're going even bigger now. We got the T-Series complete with the cargo. Oh, shit. This might actually fly pretty far because it seems like the heavier the car, the farther it'll go in some instances. But I don't know. We're still pushing 130 miles an hour in this thing. That's pretty damn good. Yeah, 200? 250 or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty good. I will not complain about that score, especially with a vehicle this ginormous. <laughs> Is this thing going to stop us? Oh, no, into the pool we go. <laughs> oh, if I, I guess if I could say anything to improve this map, maybe make the uh, sand pit just a tiny hair bigger, maybe like 50 to 100 yards, maybe. I don't know. Just a little bit for the bigger vehicle. The bigger vehicles can kind of slow down a little bit because they're all ending up um, in the pool or next to it, I guess, in this case. All right, let's try out that 6000 series from the other day. This mod is absolutely amazing. I love it. it has It's complete with uh, the interior here. And in that one model, you can actually pop out the side, but this one's too big. It doesn't need to do that. But well, I think we can turn on the lights. Yes, we can. All right, so this thing should soar, and it's very durable, so it might actually be able to drive away from this. Might be the first one to be able to drive away from this thing, so that's pretty awesome. Oh, yes. Oh, that's going to get to 250 exactly. Oh, no, we got a bad bounce. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, we're gonna slide. Yep. Oh, we're going right past the sand. Oh, that actually slowed it down quite a bit, but we're still ending up <laughs> in the pool. So I want to get a uh, view of this, what, what it would be like if you were sitting in the living room while going off this jump. <laughs> so we're actually going to get down to the bottom and actually switch camera views. All right, we're going pretty straight right now, so we're going to switch cameras. Oh boy, here we go. <laughs> so here's your view. Oh god, oh we got another bad bounce. And we're on the... <laughs> oh, I love it. The TV's still working though. Can we, can we flip on uh, Spongebob or something? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can go swimming while we watch TV. That's pretty, pretty goddamn revolutionary, I must say. Alrighty, we're going even bigger. Here's the school bus. Okay, get out of the way, Stig. Alright, there we go. That's a good angle. Oh, shit. This is gonna be something. Okay, hopefully this thing absolutely soars. This would be like the perfect thumbnail. Just the a school bus flying into the distance. Okay, here we go. It's actually, we'll, we'll do that. We'll do the uh, end cockpit view next. Oh, shit. Okay, yeah, they're all landing around 250, which I'm not going to complain about for the sheer size of these vehicles. I can't control <laughs> Oh, God, what the hell happened here? Oh, the camera work was terrible on that one. I am sorry. Let's do it again. All right, take two. School bus off the giant ski ramp. Here we go. Fireworks. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Still about the same. Oh, we landed it, though. Can we slow down? I want to stop. Ooh, I don't want to go into the pool. I want to drive away. No, don't flip over. Don't flip over. Yes! Precision driving, Stig. That was absolutely mental. And this thing still drives. It lives to see another day. <laughs> Something's dragging on the ground. That cannot be good. But, yeah, this thing still drives. Success! All right, let's do this once more in first-person view, just because I want to see the Stig kind of get flopped around like like the ragdoll that he is. But anyway, here we go. 128 miles an hour, 29. Oh shit! Something's flying around. Is that an iPhone? <laughs> I didn't. I've never noticed that. <laughs> there was an iPhone flying around in there. Oh god! <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, it's a Jans. Jeans backpack. <laughs> oh my good god, that is amazing. Okay, this just this that just made this mod one of my favorites of all time, just by default, just because they have the fucking backpack, and like a chocolate bar or something, and like a fucking iPhone flying around on the inside as we go flying off a ski jump at a hundred and wait, what the hell? Does this thing have planes flying around in the skybox? Oh yes, dude. Yes, this map is amazing. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. All right, now I just kind of want to find that iPhone. Where the hell is it? Ah, oh, stupid camera. Uh, come on, I need a slower camera here. Is that it? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> I guess that's, that looks more like an Android. Oh, yeah, it's a Samsung phone. Man, that's amazing. That's better than any of the details the devs have in their car. And they're pretty goddamn detailed to begin with, but that is, like, on another level. Anyway, let's get back to the actual map mod. We're going to do something really stupid now. We're going to try to spawn in the big behemoth, the biggest car mod and I don't even know if it's gonna fit on here but we're gonna hope for the best so let's we're gonna have to spawn it way over here because it's never gonna fit in the starting area so <laughs> let's just do it hope for the best everybody oh no okay hopefully come on rise up I want to do this oh it's moving please please oh thank you it's working <laughs> oh don't break don't break oh fuck yes okay get it straight oh my good god okay we got this <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? Oh No, it's not gonna okay The tires are wiggling and we're I don't like it. Please don't slow down. I got to get off this ramp. Oh Yes, we did it. It's going a hundred miles an hour. Oh my god I'm not trying to overhype this but Jesus Christ We're gonna hit that. Oh, no. Oh Shit. Yeah, we broke it. Wow. Okay another <laughs> Besides the uh car crusher, this random ass sign in the middle of this map is the only other thing that can bring down the Belez. Jesus. Alright, so it looks like we actually got a little bit more to this map. There's a road and a little house here. I guess we can see where that tunnel goes. And look how massive that thing is. Holy shit. Now, I was covering a lot of ground super fast. That's really fucking awesome. I don't know why. 
All right, so it looks like this is actually just a straight line that way. So I guess we can spawn up another ridiculously fast car. How about we go back to that 10,000 horsepower truck? My All my energy is just drawn into that thing. I have no idea why. All right, here we go. Oh, shit. Careful. All right, don't, don't break the car with your mad wheelies. Oh, no, god damn it. Oh, that's a lot of flips. All right, careful. Careful. And got it. Yeah, there we go. We didn't pop any wheelies, but that's okay because they tend to be very malicious to what we're trying to do. So we're just going to go with the uh, 240 mile an hour flaming truck. Oh, I bet there's just going to be a brick wall at the end of this. Isn't there? Isn't there? Well, I guess we'll find out. I, I, do I see something? Looks like a white or a gray at the end of the tunnel. Oh, it's just the end of the... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Works for me. So I guess we're just going to fall into this void here or there's going to be a ground down here. I hope it's the ladder. Come on. Oh, no, there isn't. Wow, okay. Shit, I guess we- Oh! No! <laughs> oh, wow, that was a long way down. Holy shit. So yeah, guys, that was the Car Jump Arena. That is available for free on the BeamNG uh, website, the mod section. I'll leave a link in the description so you guys don't have to search for it. But yeah, it's probably going to be pretty popular this week. I can kind of just tell just because, like, the quality of it and just anything that has, like, jumps in it is really popular. So yeah, uh, you'll probably see this map a couple times because it, it's really good for, like, testing shit. I don't know why. But yeah, it's a ton of fun. And I know you guys have been wanting a lot longer videos, so hopefully this kind of... This kind of makes you guys happy. I don't know. I just haven't, I've just been editing my videos down quite a bit lately, but it's more fun. It's kind of fun to just kind of record for a lot longer. I don't know why, but yeah. Anyway, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.